third session today with this amazing limey shrink, Dr. Sophia Lamb. She said that all Ryan's horse shit about always looking out for number one is turning us little guys against each other. And what we need is unity, solidarity. Then, huh, she held up a mirror. Turns out, I wear my hair and mustache just like Ryan. So today, hmm. I'm spreading the word about Lamb. And tonight, <laughs> I'm shaving my whole stupid head. Okay, Mike Novak, whatever you say. What a dummy. I don't think he's like another inconsequential character. I mean, look at this nonsense. I mean, the end of Ryan is the end of self, really? <laughs> These people are delusional, but we finally reached the end of literally the best ride in Ryan Amusements. And there's, I don't think there's anything to collect over here. If there was. I would know about it. Oh, we got a very lovely looking stone. Let's leave through this door. I'm almost there. It's just so many, ah, oh, God. I know this facility is vital for the preservation of secrecy and rapture. But seeing myself transformed into that lurching, waxen nightmare, do children truly respond to this? Still, I spoke to a young man exiting the park after the grand opening, asking him what, if anything, he had learned. He said his chores didn't seem so bad anymore. Ooh. As long. Reading's good for you, asshole! Alright. So that door opened now that we opened all the maintenance doors. But I don't know... How did you get up there? Oh, don't kill my buddies! Oh god, the aiming on this... Abysmal! Alright, death? Thank you. Huh. Okay, they're both almost dead. Not good, but uh... We're good. So, I would recommend going over here because you get quite possibly one of my favorite plasmids or tonics in this entire game. And guess what? It's called Booze Hound. Could you have imagined? Take full advantage of Raptors, Distilleries, and Vintners. Drinking alcohol restores a small amount of Eve rather than draining as it did before. So, anytime we drink booze and we get bloody wasted, you'll go ahead and regain health and Eve. It's actually really good. And hey, check it out. Oh man, this isn't what it feels like to be drunk. God damn it. I've got a little dating tip for you, Jimbo. It'll get you out of that lonely hearts club for good. This scheme works 100% of the time, <laughs> guaranteed. First, find some Betty and take her to Ryan Amusements. <laughs> then, you'll go to the gift shop, buy her a teddy bear. This is key. <laughs> I ain't kidding around. Then, you buy her a ticket on Journey. No. As soon as you hit that first scare, bingo tunnel of love. That is like the opposite thing that you should do is take any girl on Journey to the Surface. It's like, hey, you want to go to an exhibit that is extremely narcissistic, yet at the same time is completely unreasonable. And oh my God, security bar! Why'd you do that? You're making my voice suck right now. Oh, he's still alive. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop here pretty soon. I don't want to stop near. We're so close to the end of this place that it's just unreasonable. So, and I think I was mistaken. I guess we can have up to six hundred dollars, and then eight hundred later. I think. Hmm. <sighs> all of this stuff is not expensive at all. The circus of value. Uh, we're already filled up on the health and e pipes we can carry, and we're pretty much done here. All we have to do now is buy incinerate. Which is actually over here to the left, since this is literally where we started. So, actually, before we go, I want to try something. I want to get this set up. We're going to have a bit of a large battle here later. And it's kind of unusual. I've never tried setting it up for this, because trap rivets, not that great. But I still would like to see if this will go out and help us. Send me on my way. God damn it. Of course I would miss. Of course I would miss. Cigarettes, trap rivets, there. Alright, I think we're fine. So let's go to this door that I conspicuously skipped at the beginning of, the, of this series of videos, I guess. To Ryan Industries. Okay, let's see. So over here, we've got ourselves lovely turrets. Let's 
go and let's make good use of this. Actually, you know what? Fuck. I probably shouldn't have hacked it because the only thing it's gonna do is kill the two splicers that are over there. Oh my god. Oh, why are you- why are you- hey, I think your priorities might be a little skewed there, woman. Why would you shoot at me? It's like, if it's a big daddy that is doing absolutely nothing to harm me, but hey, check it out, there's a goddamn hostile turret right behind me. Just ignore that. Yeah, I probably could have just destroyed it or something and killed them separately. Oh well, sweet mother of God. So, you would drain the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. Okay there, Sophia Lamb. Alright, so we got that, and we got the awesome neon lights again. What does this say? We lost another of the Alpha Series protectors today in testing. Somewhere outside the city limits, he simply vanished. For these men, Rapture has no walls. We must find a method of conditioning them against abandonment of the Little Sisters. Something physical, possibly even lethal. The lab aides are starting to call them big daddies. Perhaps there's some genius to that. Bonded pairs, connected by a love that kills. Man, that's pretty fucked up. Gilbert Alexander, I won't forget that. Anyway, Gatherer's Garden, 160 Adam. Guess what? We've got Incinerate here, and they force you to have to at least um, save the little sister, or at least get both corpses. But, um, we'll go and buy it because, check it out, don't wait, incinerate! And we can go and throw that in the third slot. Okay. Light up enemies to a thousand degrees! Warning, fire spread! <laughs> Evolve today! Indeed. Sweet. So I'm gonna actually skip those for now. There's actually a second gatherer's garden that we can... Right? With a snap of I don't know. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Alright, let's get the oil spill down there. Like, sorry, babe. I just I just lit on some fire. I'm sorry. And over here, we've got an asshole. Hey, I see you. So, setting enemies on fire is pretty good because it kind of distracts them, as you saw there. He was kind of just running around and doing shit. And, um, they'll, like, throw themselves in bodies of water, in which case you can just go and, uh, suction them. Ooh. Got light? Flame on! Hey, you're fired. Ho, oh, oh, ho, you guys. I am, I'm on fire. Just kidding. I'm done. I'm getting ready to be done with this. But before we leave, uh, let's go to that second gatherer's garden. And you can wait until later to get certain things. They'll typically stack in late, later levels because you can't backtrack to this area once you move on. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Ooh. So gene tonic slots and armored shell. Those are probably going to be what I'm going to be getting here. Uh, extra nutrition, I wouldn't bother. Neither with the careful hacker. But I think these two would be good. Um, I will upgrade even health later when it's more practical. But for now, I mean, having a little bit of physical defense here is not going to be a bad idea. Especially with the fight we're going to have here. And the gene tonic slot could be used for later, but we can, we can, uh, I don't think we even, yeah, we don't even have any other tonics, so. That'll be for when we collect our next one. And this gathers gardens, I swear. Ugh. This is lovely. <laughs> Alright. And we're already filled up on heavy rivets. That is not good. I don't think there's anything else we need to collect in here. So, well, let's go ahead and get out of here, shall we? So all we really need to do now is leave, and um, there we go. And uh, once we do, uh -oh. good. hopefully nothing impedes our progress when we try and leave this place into the Hall of the Future. Brought to you by Andrew Ryan. All right, so heavy rivet against armored targets. Whew. Hope you guys are ready for this. Luckily, I still have my buddies, and oh no, I can't move. It's taking me back, and check it out. 
We have to fight a little sister here, our big sister. Now, unfortunately, it looks like all my trap rivets got fucked, so, damn it. She does a lot of damage here. So if you're having a trouble, run down next to the Circus of Values and just keep, no, I, shit, I wanted to throw, why did you pick up a book? Why did it pick up a book? Why did it pick up a fine gin? I wanted to throw explosives at her. Okay, get back. Okay. Sometimes she'll throw like bombs and like fireballs at you. And all you just gotta wail at her. And oh my god. Well thanks for the help, guys! Thanks, thanks a lot for the help. Holy moly, oh. son. Not even a big sister can keep you down. <laughs> well, Come on back and melt the ice, and we can say goodbye to this two-bit carny ride. Sounds good. More like one bit, considering how one-dimensional it was. God damn it! Wait, where are you going? You're disappearing. Oh, how's it going? You guys, you guys wanted a little bit of the action. Well, there you go. Big sister has been defeated. So, from here on out, once you take care of all of the little sisters in a single level, they will come and fight you. And uh, that can be good and bad because they're pretty challenging, as you guys saw. But it's also pretty fun in the certain different ways that you can take care of them. So, anyway, I think we're pretty much done here. If there's anything you need to do, do it now before you leave this place. Like I said, you can't come back to these levels like you could in the first game. So, let's get rid of some of our stuff here. See, we barely, like, used anything when we were going, like, when we were fighting here. Like, just heavy rivets. And actually, now that we have Incinerate, um, there are a couple of things we can collect on our way back, so that's pretty good. And I'm pretty sure I collected everything. I'm not going to be, like, scrounging off screen or anything. And you guys have seen probably the bulk of it. Most of what you'll be scrounging for um, already is, like, is just stuff that we... It's just audio diaries, mostly. <laughs> so let's go collect all this stuff. Disappeared. Let's see what we got. He's gone. James was the only man I ever loved. Now it's like he never even came to Rapture. He heard me sing at the limbo room. Came up all bashful. He liked hearing songs about what it's really like to live in this town. I think he's been trying to organize folks against Ryan. And now he's gone. And I'm here. Singing Rise, Rapture, Rise. Scared to death they're gonna come for me. <laughs> Ain't no one got time for that. <laughs> oh, Grace Holloway. So here we are, back um, at our lovely train car that we'll be seeing for the next, like, three levels. Um, so let's incinerate the hell out of this. I'm sure there was probably a way we could have fashioned that in such a way that we could just get through oh, without all that. Sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Yeah, no now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. All right, you and McGregor and Big Fish, we'll do. So, guess what? He was there all along. Thanks for the help, man. Asshole. <sighs> I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid. We're going places. Yeah, that right. Can you sting me some steam power giraffe, please? <gasps> I'm stuck. What the? I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel to force a mirror on a man with no face? <laughs> well, alrighty then. Lamb was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. Alright, alright, alright. So we got ourselves yet another battle where we need to fight things, and luckily both my security bots are still alive. Hopefully they stay that way. <laughs> Alright, so that's basically the extent of in Incinerate, and oh god, oh god, no, my buddy! Alright, here, get out of my safe haven, please, thank you. Is that all of them? There's oh, there's a couple more. Alright, go on the oil slick, I dare you! Oh, they're both- <gasps> No! You killed my buddy, how- How goddamn dare you. You son of a bitch. I think we won, though. <laughs> Not that bad, not that hard, whatsoever. This game, even on hard, which I think I've already said is what we're playing on right now, is a bit of a pushover, not gonna lie. Unfortunately, we lost one of our buddies, but one of them lives on, so. 
and it's quite all right. Anyway, we're basically at the end here. Again, anything you need to do, make sure you do it now. Um, I'm not sure what else you'd really need because a lot of the achievements in this game aren't really tied to collecting things aside from like the power to the people station and stuff like that. Uh, but in Sinclair's room, this lovely room that has no facilities whatsoever. Let's check it out. Andrew Ryan. He reckoned the free market was some kind of holy spirit gonna lead us all over the rainbow. And I reckon it's a big fat hooker too dim to spot a wooden nickel. So old Andy went and became his own ghost, and I whittled nickels till I made a mint. Alright, whatever you say, Sinclair. So, with that having been said, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> next time on Bioshock 2 we're going to be seeing a face that is going to be concurrent with a really annoying-ish level. So I'm going to go and save real fast. And that's just in case anything happens here, or I screwed up, or something. And I think we're good here. Um, we're going to be heading off to the next area, and there's the warning, you guys. Make sure you've done everything you need to do. And we'll never set foot in Ryan Amusements ever again. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I'll be feeling a little bit better. Um, let's continue onwards. What are you doing, little buddy? No! He's not going to be there next time. 